this is Cassie, aka The Crafting Chef, bringing you another tutorial on behalf of Sub This and That, home of the Sublimation Box Club. For today's tutorial, I'm working from our August 2023 Sublimation Box. See the description down below to see all the items included in this month's box. For today's tutorial, I'm going to sublimate this excuse me, pillow cover. This feels so good. This is a leather-like material. Um, right now I have this in brown and then also a creamish color. I don't know how well you guys can see that with the, the light in the room, but these are both wonderful colors for the fall. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this over to my heat press. Um, before I do that, actually, I'm going to go ahead and take my press pillow and put my press pillow inside. The reason why I'm doing this now is because this will help me determine the pressure when I sublimate my design on this pillow cover. So I wanna go ahead and press it with the pillow in place as well as a piece of butcher paper. Now normally I use butcher paper inside my pillow covers so that they don't bleed through the other side but I want to show you guys the inside of this one is um, brown so I'm honestly I feel pretty good that you know this may not bleed over but I want to always always protect my press pillow just in case. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this butcher paper inside. And then I'm gonna take this over to my heat press. Uh, right now my heat press is at 385 degrees. I am going to go ahead and leave it there. Um, a lot of times when I do polyester pillows, I do 400 degrees. This is a polyester. This is 100% polyester. Um, but it just feels like leather. Um, so I'm just going to turn my heat press down. Um, but the recommended times from our supplier will be on the screen. I'll pre-press this for about 5 to 10 seconds, probably closer to 5, and then I'll be right back. Instead of using tape, I use my Elmer's Craft Bond Spray Adhesive. You spray your design, you let it sit for about three to four minutes, and then you can place it on the object. to flip this over and replace this piece.
Oh, I wish I had a pillow form. I wish, I wish, I wish I had a pillow form available. So the ideal for this actual pillow came about from a Bible study lesson I taught earlier this year about keys to help you keep your faith. And these were some of the keys that I, I talked about. So in here are the keys, and then I also included the scripture references. So I'm very excited. You can either stuff your pillow with a pillow form, or if you're doing, I say this all the time, if you're doing multiple orders, multiple, for me, if you're gonna do a, at a minimum of five pillows for an order, it may, may be cost effective to buy polyfill because you can use a coupon at Joann's and, and Michael's. Um, and Joann's has it on sale a lot. I even purchased, my first box I ever purchased, I purchased from Walmart. So that's another option to buy the big box of polyfill, especially if you're gonna be doing pillows all the time. And then you can stuff it um, how full you want it. So there you have it. I love, love, love how this feels. Okay. I'm going to be running around my house trying to find a pillow form for this. But there you have it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.